Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a very quick look at solar, arc, and void damage and how it actually all works. There are four types of damage in Destiny right now. There's kinetic damage, solar damage, arc damage, and void damage. Kinetic is just regular damage. It has no elemental properties and doesn't do anything special. Solar is basically fire damage, signified by the color red. Arc is lightning damage, signified by blue. And void is... I guess we can call it shadow damage, but void damage is fine too, and is signified by purple. You've probably heard somewhere that enemies are weak to certain elements, and you'd be right and wrong. Most, if not all, enemies, as far as we know right now, are not weak to any specific kind of damage, just where you shot them, head or body, that being based on the beta. If you used a weapon that did solar, arc, or void damage, and you attacked an enemy, that damage would not act any differently than kinetic damage, aka normal or regular damage. So which enemies are weak to the elements? You can tell if an enemy has an elemental weakness based on if they have a shield or not, and if they do, what color the shield is. If an enemy has a shield, their shield is the thing that has an elemental weakness. In the beta, you probably saw this guy, the Fallen Captain. The Fallen Captain has a blue shield. This is significant because this blue shield says that it is weak to arc damage. If you attack a Fallen Captain with an active shield with arc damage, you will deal significantly more damage over any other damage type to their shield. However, once the shield is gone, all damage dealt is set back to normal. The enemies themselves, as far as we know right now, do not have any elemental weaknesses, only their shields. If the shield regenerates, then you will once again deal bonus damage with the appropriate weapon until the shield is removed. Check out this example. Since Fist of Havoc deals arc damage, I deal bonus damage to the fallen captain, but regular damage to the other enemies, because they don't have a shield. The bonus damage is always in the color of the element, that's how you can tell. It's also important to know that if an enemy has an active shield, you cannot hit them with headshots until it is removed. If you attack an enemy, let's say the Fallen Captain, with a weapon that isn't their weakness, it will deal normal damage. So, if I start pummeling a captain with a solar damage weapon, and the captain has a blue shield, nothing special is going to happen damage-wise. The other example in the beta was the Hive Wizard. The Hive Wizard has a red shield, which means their shield is weak to solar damage, and you will deal bonus damage to the Hive Wizard's shield if you are using a solar weapon. Once the shield is removed, all bonuses with the solar weapon go away, but now you can get headshots on the wizard to bring it down faster. There were no enemies in the beta that had a purple shield or any weaknesses to void damage. I suspect we'll probably see enemies with purple shields in the full release of the game, and if we do, it'll probably operate the same way as solar and arc weapons do. Basically, if you see a blue shield, shoot it off with arc damage. If you see a red shield, shoot it off with solar damage. And if you see a purple shield, shoot it off with void damage. You don't have to shoot it, any damage of the appropriate element will do. That means grenades and your melee ability works as well. If an enemy doesn't have a shield, aim for the head to deal bonus damage. That is how elemental damage worked in the beta. I don't anticipate major changes in the final game, but if there are, this video will be updated with new information. If you guys still have questions, be sure to drop them in the comments and I will do my best to answer. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.